is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of season 2 of Sunroon. Just gonna get started in 3, ooh, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, that was weird. No, <laughs> oh, the babies. Uh oh. Because he cares about you. Exactly. But I figured we were getting an episode on this. Like, oh, I didn't think it would be this week. I thought it'd be next week. <laughs> Ain't it also funny that the first person that we look at in the zooming in is Kajhan and then now. Mm. Mm. Mm So BTW, if you hear anything, loud noise in the background, maintenance is doing cleaning. Yeah, I'm gonna get some shit. I mean, you know, remember, you win now. Patrick Steele. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. The tension. Oh my god. Yeah, but, you know, now you got no one kind of feeling some type of way about each other. Mm. Oh. No, you're in the right. Oh. Uh, just talk it out. Oh my god. Stop being mean to each other. Yes. Lies. Releasing out of the Fast and the Furious movie. I hate when I get emails when I'm watching something, but that really just happened, bruh. <gasps> Poor Rohit. The peace offering. Mm hmm. We're always like this. Oh, I mean, we know the baby has had anger issues, but like, oh, but I get it. Even if it's just a practice, you still want to try your best. So I agree with what he said, but not the fact that Kai, Kai tried to punch the shit out of him. Because I get it. Like I said, Kai John always wants to try his best. Tom, you need to go make out or something, Jesus. Yeah, look at those two. Always attached at the hip. So, just go apologize.
I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> Oh, woman. But kind of. Please just bring them together. Let them talk. Let them make out, talk, do whatever. God, like, please. Because uh, neither one wants to admit that they're wrong. They both are headed. But he is passionate. See, but hold up. Y'all didn't start taking it seriously until he punched you. That's it. <laughs> It'll be like that sometimes. Oh, me and I don't. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. 
He's right. I mean, yeah, you started it initially for Kaito, but now you can love it for yourself. <gasps> Look at the kitty. <laughs> and the only way for everyone to not feel it is for you two to make up. Kiss the makeup, like something. Jesus. Oh. oh. Sure does. I mean, because baby, your your now for me is definitely showing today. So go, go kick his ass. Go make up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go do all that shit. Okay. Everybody else would be here too, but no. I mean, I get it. This is something between them, so it makes the most sense for just these two to be here, you know? Please. <laughs> oh yes but <laughs> exactly yeah yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> and you're still watching out for each other
Bring it down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's late. <laughs> There we go. Babies. Oh. oh, they were there. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, cry. My God, so precious. Okay, this was very, like, emotional for this episode. I mean, almost every episode of season one and the part way of season two where we are right now has been very emotional where it, it doesn't make you cry, but you're close to crying. Like, you're inside, you just feel like, oh my god, like, damn, that hurt. I mean, it's, it's Kill Annie. Kill Annie makes everything that makes me freaking cry. Whether it's, like, actual crying like a damn baby or after I'm watching it and I think about it a little bit more, I just start crying and I'm just like, oh god. Mm. Or it just, it touches you in a way that inside you were just crying a lot. Okay. But it's so it's very interesting to see these two fight. It, it just reminds me of season one where it was Minato and Saya because you see the relationship of this duo and you think, okay, they've been together like this for a very long time. And it's like, okay, hold on. Let me, let me put this in another way that is very similar to it. Okay, so imagine you have a best friend. You've had this friend with you for like, you've known each other since kindergarten. You've never really had a fight. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, you've never really saw how saw or have a problem with each other. And then let's say by middle school, high school, whatever, you start to have problems with each other. Maybe something you did, something they they did that, you know, rubbed one of you the wrong way. And you feel like your friendship is over because of that. And it almost felt like that between these two, especially when now, like, pushed him off the train with his finger and such. And so he leaves, and then Kaito's just standing there just thinking about everything, you know, because regardless, they would just be like, just so they showed at the beginning of this episode and because they always watched over each other. If one of them fell, hence Kaito, now would go back and go check on him. And then it's the polar opposite if now fell and Kaito would go. And so they're still doing that even in this sport and every competition because if one fails, the other one will back the other one up and such. And sometimes, even as of now, they're still going to do that because that is them that's how close they are but it still kind of screws them up like even with the duo i mean, I mean the duo <laughs> the battle between them two you could see that every single time when one was kind of shining the other one fucked up and then we kept switching back and forth and then honestly to see now's bow you know really more the string break after you know having that like beautiful like emotion and just being like I'm gonna beat you and then it just breaks and it's just like oh you were close but still like damn like oh my god but yeah for these two 
literally just gave me feels to say a Minato's episode when they would argue and such. But it's just because the love that they have for each other. And it's just ultimately sweet. <laughs> Even in the end, they came back together, made some steak fried rice, which looked good as fuck, honestly. Even though I already ate, but still it looked good, made me want to have some. But, like, yeah, even seeing the picture of them as babies with the watermelon, like, it just shows you how far they've come and how far they will go past all of this. It, it was a good episode. Very emotional and sweet and heartbroken and, you know, everything else in between. Like, oh my god, yes, you, like, honestly, if I, if I did not cry, I probably would have cried at this episode. But I feel like we're we're waiting. There's something coming that is gonna make me cry. Probably at the end of the series, I will cry because <laughs> we know myself. That's all. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of season two of Sunroon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Excuse me. I should not be sleepy. Enjoy the match with squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 6. Bye guys!